hi guys welcome back to my channel so this weekend we are taking the mini camera my little dji on a little adventure and we are going to mad monster i am so excited i am about to go see lisa frankenstein before we head to the convention but there's going to be some fun things all weekend and i'm just so excited to show you guys so let's go Okay, so just left the movie. Honestly, would watch it again. We'll probably buy it on DVD. I thought it was so good. The music's obviously good. The coloring in the whole film from like all of the decor to like the lighting, it was just so good. And yeah, I would highly recommend if you haven't seen it to go see it. I feel like Diablo Cody can do no wrong. If you know, you know. <laughs> Anyways, you should go see it. It's really good. Um, about to have a little dinner and then gonna head over to the convention. There's a Dukes of Hazard Q&A that I wanna see tonight, so um, yeah. <gasps> Look who it is. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh my god, <laughs> such a surprise! Say Look yes. at this face! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so it is day two. I didn't film like a ton yesterday because obviously with the movie, I can't film the movie. And then at the convention, it was like, I don't know, I get camera shy and when there's not a lot of people like milling about, I feel like I'm on full display like taking video. I'm allowed to take video, but anyways, I saw Presley and that was so fun to see her and I got a really cute bag. Hang on, let me show you guys. I didn't plan on buying a bag, but it was too perfect to pass up. So this is a Loungefly McDonald's Dracula McNugget backpack. So I think... I mean, they're gonna wear it like tonight or tomorrow because there's still another day of the convention tomorrow. Um, I'm about to run some errands, so I didn't dress super spooky yet. I've got little, I don't know if you can see them, little vans on and I do have some bling ghost face socks on. <laughs> so we got a little spooky under the flare leggings. But yeah, so I'm gonna take you along on what we're doing today and then we'll come back get changed and then go back to the convention. I am gonna go there at like 1.30 because Taryn Manning has a, or it's like 2.30 maybe, 2.30. Anyways, Taryn Manning has a Q&A and I'd like to see that. So let's go and I'll show you a little bit more of the vendors and everything here now. Well, I mean, when I get there, you know, you know. So 
went to a video store, have not been to a video store like that probably since Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did go to one in Raleigh called Vortex Video, which was really cool, but not as big as this one. And I was just living for it. It felt so nostalgic and very fun. And then in the same complex was a used bookstore that has the cats, which you guys saw. And sometimes, like I love cats, but sometimes they get a little spicy. Let me just show you. <laughs> weekend gonna be really good <laughs> what does it say it is decidedly so okay so allegedly these stairs are haunted So I'm changed, I'm ready, I'm wearing a Nightmare on Elm Street shirt. We're about to go back to the convention and I'm also wearing a little ghost backpack. I think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I put back on my sweater from yesterday and it's a little chilly so we're gonna just go with this. <laughs> Okay, so I got this backpack off of Amazon. It's very cute, very like plush, but also very papery sounding. So the reason I haven't been at Mad Monster today is that one, I wasn't doing any photo ops and a lot of the chunk of time is for photo ops. So today I wanted to see Taryn Manning, which I saw and she was great. I love her. She is so good. Tomorrow is the Lost Boys Q&A, which I'm very excited about. Tonight we're going to do the costume contest, which is honestly one of my favorite things. And then we have like a horror trivia and then the um, scary -oki, which I don't know if we're going to do the scary -oki. This is so cute. I'm sorry.
Shaking Cycle, ladies and gentlemen, that's David. Day three. So yesterday, um, well, anytime I come to Mad Monster Weekend, I act like I'm on vacation because I technically am. So I did some day drinking yesterday and I just was like, I don't want to be on camera when I'm doing all that. So basically last night we went back to the convention and we saw the costume contest and contemplated sticking around for the horror trivia, but it was like an hour like, wait, I'll, I'll explain in a second all of the craziness of the convention. I do love the convention. I just want to state that I will be back, but I do have some thoughts, especially for this year. Once I get in the car, I'll talk about it a little more. I'm about to go watch the Q&A with Keith, uh, Keither. <laughs> I'm about to go watch the Q&A with Kiefer Sutherland and he's gonna be talking about Lost Boys, which I'm excited about. Question, yes, how many times do you think the name Michael was said in that movie? My question. I'm not brave enough to ask that, but maybe, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna do that and then maybe go back for another Q&A later. I don't know, we'll see. I'm definitely feeling it today. <laughs> I feel like I'm just very dehydrated and um, tired. <laughs> All good things, but I think I'm just tired. So, let's go. Oh, also, I'm wearing a Goosebumps shirt today, and then I'm doing my Vans again with a different pair of flared leggings. They look the same. They're just a clean pair. Um, contemplated taking my backpack, my little McNugget backpack, but since we're not going to be at the convention super long today it kind of feels silly to be walking around charlotte with a mcnugget backpack when it's not october so i'm gonna save that and bring it back in august um for the next mad monster or i might even save it for october it's so cute though but today i'm just doing a normal black purse but anyways i'm rambling let's go so i've come to this convention probably about like this is probably like my fifth time it's twice a year which is really fun so you get a little spookiness, you know, two times before Halloween. Um, and it's a really great convention. I love it. There's so many vendors and everything. There was a little controversy surrounding this year because at the very last minute it was announced that Kevin Spacey was a guest and there was a lot of people up in arms about that for, you know, valid reason. He doesn't have a table. He's only doing pro photo ops. So like nobody's like seeing him or anything, but I feel like there's been like a little bit of a shift this time around. I noticed that like the comments are off, so obviously they don't want to hear everybody's comments about Kevin Spacey. And the one of the big things that I noticed was they normally have like a spooky burlesque show and that was not a part of the lineup this year, which was weird because it's always been part of the lineup. So I'm not sure if there's like new people in charge of the convention or what. It just was like different. So it'll be interesting to see like how August turns out. But yeah, so it's just been kind of strange. I haven't seen some of the regular people that I normally see. Again, this is a twice a year convention and I see a lot of the same people and some people that I'm thinking of, I'm like, I haven't seen them. So I don't know if it has something to do with the uh, choice of guests or not, but I mean, you know, I've still been having a good time this weekend. Obviously I'm not meeting Kevin Spacey. <laughs> And uh, so, you know, whatever, but it has been really fun. So we're going back for this Q&A and then we'll be done for the day because they're doing a lot of photo ops. If you do like a three day pass, there's like a lot of really good Q&As, but there's not a lot in the downtime. So like if you are in between photo ops or you're not getting any and you're just meeting people on the vendor floor, really the only thing to do is just like kind of socialize with everybody and mill about, which is fine, but something like today I'm not getting any photo ops and uh, so there's only one Q&A that we want to do but overall I love the convention I think it's so fun it's really cool the type of people that they pull in and um, yeah it's been fun so let's go day three and then uh, we'll be done and, and I thought Billy Idol was really cool at the time and kind of tried to look like that so it was pretty simple. <laughs> 